Hello everyone! My name is Allison and I'm a teen librarian at the Schomburg Township District Library. And I want to welcome you back to another episode of Lunch and Listen, where I invite you to grab your lunch and sit back and relax while I share some young adult reading suggestions. In today's video, I'm talking about survival books. I'm not going to lie to you guys, these are my favorite type of books of all time. So it was extremely hard for me to narrow down the number of titles I'm talking about today. Extremely hard. So I finally decided on five titles that are different types of survival stories to give you all a variety of books to choose from for your next read. Alright, so today I'm changing things up a little bit as well by giving you the publisher's blurb for each book because that is what got me to read all of these books. Then I'll give you a very short reason why I loved each book. Are you guys ready? Let's go. First up is War Girls by Tochi Anuboji. The publisher blurb for this title, two sisters are torn apart by war and must fight their way back to each other in a futuristic Black Panther inspired Nigeria. If that blurb doesn't get you to read this book, then I don't know what will. I love this book because it is an action-packed survival story with some really cool technology and some awesome main characters. Also, you're going to want the sequel on hand when you finish this, but luckily it's already out. And one more thing, if you like audiobooks, this one was great on audio. All right, so next up, I'm, I'm talking about I Am Still Alive by Kate Alice Marshall. The publisher blurb for this title. Cheryl Strahan's Wild meets The Revenant in this heart-pounding story of survival and revenge in the unforgiving wilderness. Jess will survive. She has to. She knows who killed her father, and she wants revenge. <laughs> okay, so I'm Still Alive is the wilderness survival thriller you have been waiting for. And I'm not the only librarian that thinks so. Not only did this publisher's blurb about this title grab my attention, but tween librarian Miss Gretchen is the one that convinced me to read it. <clears throat> and she wasn't wrong. All right, next up is Dry by Neil Schusterman and Jared Schusterman. The publisher blurb for this one, when the California drought escalates to catastrophic proportions, one teen is forced to make life and death decisions for her family in this harrowing story of survival. From New York Times bestselling author, Neil Schusterman and Jared Schusterman. Okay, so I loved Dry for its fast pace, very scarily realistic plot. This one was a page turner for me and everyone that I've recommended this book to so far has also enjoyed it. All right, next up is This Mortal Coil by Emily Suvada. The publisher blurb, in this gripping debut novel, 17 year old Kat must use her gene hacking skills to decode her late father's message, concealing a vaccine to a horrifying plague. So why I was captivated by this science fiction survival story, it may not be everyone's cup of tea right now since it does deal with a pandemic, but if you are interested, you're gonna want to go ahead and grab all three titles in this trilogy to have on hand for when you finish the first book. Okay, you guys, last but definitely not least is Wilder Girls by Rory Power. The publisher blurb, a feminist Lord of the Flies about three best friends living in quarantine at their island boarding school. And the lengths they go to uncover the truth of their confinement when one disappears. This fresh debut is a mind bending novel unlike anything you've read before. The blurb for this book is pretty convincing on its own but I will add that this book is more of a horror survival story. 
And oh boy, is it creepy. All right, that's it for today, everyone. As always, you can find a list of the books I talked about today in the description below, along with links to past lunch and listen videos. Thank you all again for watching and please stay safe. Happy reading. Thank you.